So here we have question number three. I mean, based upon just the length of this question, I have to assume that the strategy here would be translate word problem or TWP. Also, however, based upon the fact that I have uh, variables in the answer choices, I can also think about the possibility of using plug in your own number or P I Y. O N. So let's check this out. So, for, so using translate word problem, the idea there is to read one sentence at a time, write down any quantitative information that we can find, and then um, do that throughout till the end of the question until we have a good translation of what's being asked for. So let's get started with this one. On Saturday afternoon, Armand sent M text messages each hour for five hours, so I'm going to say A equals five M. Five M because he sent M text messages each hour five for five hours, so that means Armand sent five times M text messages. And Tyrone sent P text messages each hour for four hours, so I'm going to say T equals four P for the same reason as what I wrote down for Armand. Which of the following represents the total number of messages sent by Armand and Tyrone on Saturday afternoon? So what I'm looking for is A plus T, right? So what was sent by Armand and Tyrone? So based upon my translation here, I already have that, so I know that A plus T has to equal 5M plus 4P, and I see that that answer is choice C. So we answered this question strictly based upon translate word problem. However, if we wanted to use plug in your own number, what we would have needed to do here is to make up a value for M. For instance, if I said M was two, and I knew that Armand sent two text messages each for five hours, I would know that Armand sent a total of 10 text messages. And then if I said that P was equal to, let's say three, then I would know that Tyrone, because he sent a message each hour for four hours, that Tyrone sent a total of 12 text messages. So then the total messages would be just Armand plus Tyrone, which tells me that I would have had 22 text messages. So what I do with that number is I use that value as an anchor, basically, and I plug these same M and P values into my answer choices. And what you can see without me plugging in it in everywhere, if I plugged it into A, I would not get 22. Plugging it into B, I would not get 22. However, when I plug it into C, right, five times M would give me 10, four times three would give me 12, and 10 plus 12 is 22. So with C, I would get that correct. And also, if I just wanted to try D out, which I suggest you do anytime you're plugging in your own number, to try all options in case you need to change your numbers around. If I try D, I'd get um, 8 plus 15, which is also not 22. So as you can see here, two different methods. Um, it really just depends on whatever is your preference. I do like the plug in your own number as a strategy because it's very useful on questions where it's the only option. It just so happens that this particular question, translation is good enough.